Hello, super deformed race car fans. I actually like race cars, and I like cartoon cars. This, uh, these two I picked up loose at a local diecast uh, convention or whatever you call those things. And uh, it's missing the original packaging, but there are only two cars in the set, these two. They're from a fictional cartoon series made by a Frenchman, Jean Gratton. Back in 1957, created a cartoon series around race car driving. And there's one of the, this I pulled off of uh, Wikipedia. And it's a fictional uh, thing called Michel Val Valiant. Val Valiant? You can see the, prior, the spelling, but I don't know French, so I know I'm butchering this language here. Michel Val Valiant? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, well, anyways. Uh, so these are the cars from uh, the series. Uh, so they look like LMP racers, and this one actually has, you know, the Volant, like it's supposed to be a racing car company. And I would have to assume this would be a competing racing car company in this fictional comic book world created by Jean Breton. So let's take a look here. Well, let's start with this one because it doesn't have the namesake on it. So got this giant plastic display case which makes no sense really I mean, why does it have to be super tall like that but so sadly I'm just gonna throw that out I tend to keep the clear part and use them as storage bins for other parts in fact well, I'll just open this one while we're at it oh this one's taped together Okay, so nothing to compare to because I think this is probably a fictional car. I don't know. It might actually be a real car, but I've never seen this casting in other other liveries from Choro Q. It looks like an LMP racer, that's for sure. I just don't know if it's a specific one. I don't think I've ever seen these wheels before. They have this Y spoke pattern, and they're deeper in the middle than the edges. You know, they're they're concave. So that's pretty cool. Uh, there's an exhaust tip here coming out. Really shallow vent. All the tampo printing looks good. Um, it's interesting, even though this is an F1, I mean a Le Mans racer, it does have the coin holder back here. So these are all pull back, wind back, wind up toys. And pretty plain bottom. There's no copyright date. So that's that's weird. It's not typical of Choro Q. Uh, screwed front, tapped base, I mean tapped back. And then this white stuff on the tire should just wipe off and look new again. The tire is still soft. I think they might be made of silicone. Okay. So we have a big uh, chin lip here, I think. Yeah, I think this gray is part of this body here, and that's part of the base. And then, I can't tell if these are clear or not, these headlights. It's hard to say. But the wings are definitely painted black. And then this is just, oh, what do you know, that's a real vent. You can actually see the air, an air gap there, so that's cool. Number 13, tampo printed. Yeah, so that's like a stylized L, so I think this is like a fake racing car called a leader. And all sorts of details, venting above the wheel wells, you know, uh, hinge areas for the clamshells. And then uh, it's pretty rare to see any indication of a human being in a Choro Q, but this actually has a red helmet. It's funny because it's right against the, the windscreen. And some NACA ducks there, a little orange peel in the paint. And then the leader tampo printing looks good, some black pack here. Even black underneath and black struts, and then we have some older details, but uh, no additional paint, of course. Uh, so it's pretty good. I think it's cool. It reminds me of a Toyota TS050, but I think T Toyotas had closed cockpits. So I don't know if you guys can think, if you look at this thing, maybe pause it and ask yourself is that a cartoon version of something else? A Pescaloro? I don't know. Zytec? Not sure. Okay, so that one was cool. Now let's get to the 
this blue one with the namesake of the main character and so that's the logo I see on the internet related to this comic book franchise this thing style HB and then yeah okay so this is clear plastic so the whole body is this gray plastic that's probably the case for the red one too some hatches for the suspension some more bent details here the stripes are tampo printed there's a french flag so unfortunately the stripes are not very well done and then this guy has a silver helmet with a different type of visor it looks like this guy might be bigger than the last guy but we'll compare the two in a moment some vents no paint though but this vent here does have paint and a recess so that's cool this one goes all the way through roll cage roll hoop roll hoop not a cage and then again i don't think i've ever seen these wheels before concave but multi spokes all right this one has some red tail lights which is nice and this whole michelle valiant i know it's not pronounced valiant but that's my english american english coming through Oh, the film. Interesting. So, there must have been a movie, and I would assume whenever that movie was, this, these toys came out around the same time. So, that might be worth looking into, if you're really curious. And that same white gunk on the tires, but it should come off. Yeah, and they're still soft tires, so that's good. Yeah, coin holder. Let's compare these two now. I guess the helmets are the same size. Yeah, never mind. Wheels are definitely different, right? Hmm. The body. You know, it's so cut. There's almost like no rear on this red one. With the blues wrapping around the tire a lot more. The blue one has a roll hoop. Whereas uh, this one has more like a F1, much narrower roll hoop. And then I, I think I actually like the red car more. Uh, I like, for some reason this looks like a, a car, I, I, it's somewhere in my memory, you know. And I also like the real vents right here. Uh, this one obviously doesn't have vents, so, hmm. But I do like that this has, you know, tail lights. This one, not so much, but it is a red car. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, well, let's uh, compare it to a couple other race cars now. Okay, let's start with some old ones here. I have a lot more LMP racers than I thought I did. This is a Ford GT40, and it says 2003 on the bottom of this guy. Uh, let's see... This is a Porsche 956, and this says 2001 on the base of that. I mounted this this one with putty, though, so that it's a lowered ride height. Okay, then we have a Nissan R90CP, and it says 1990 on the bottom of this one. I 3D printed my own wheels on that one and used a putty. And then I have a different type of Cherokee in, in its proportions. It's a Mazda 737C. This is 1986 on the bottom of this thing. So that's an old one. But you'll see how long it is. It's less cartoony. But it actually has a lot of details. Like There's actually lettering on the tires of that thing. But getting back to more traditional Cherokee deformation, we have a Mazda 787B. From, and on the bottom of this it says 2004. So that's a legend. That actually won Le Mans uh, at some point in time. One next one did not win Le Mans, I don't think. It's a Nissan R390 GT1, and on the bottom of this it says 2004. Well, technically it says 04, but... And the last one I will put up there... is this Audi that won Let's see here, what's it say? 2004. And also it says 04. That's when Choroku put this Audi out. This R8 thing. And actually that thing has 
a driver as well. So wait a second. Nope, I was looking at the headlights. They're totally different. So they are three different castings, that's for sure, these three. And the wheels are different as well. They're multi-spokes, but they're different casting than this blue, blue one. So it's nice to see, you know, I, so many LMP racers in cartoon form. I like racing cars, and then I, you know, it's just nice that I can see a deformed version of it. So I think that's cool. Let's get these guys spinning on their own, though. So I think a nice touch is, you know, the little helmets in there. So it looks like two really small people driving two extremely large cars. Um, and it, traditionally, I would put a cartoon character up here, like that's a 164 scale race car driver. But obviously, you know, with these little helmets, it makes these cars look ridiculously large. So maybe it's not a good idea. I don't know. What do you think? But they are definitely deformed. And now I'm kind of interested in looking up this movie. Uh, I'd be curious to see what it was, if it's an animation or like a live action film or something. There's a lot of photographs of like real cars with these, this livery stuff going on. Like, those are real cars, so I don't know. Maybe there's a live action movie as well. All right, well. I appreciate you guys checking this out, and uh, hopefully I'll find some other race cars in super deformed uh, shape, and we'll talk about those next time. Thanks. See ya.